What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And it has been one week since the review of WWE 2K22. So it's time to round up the latest news, uh, some of the things that, that we ended up missing, brand new confirmations, a couple of concerns after this first week of reveal, and some big reports of making the rounds that I can't believe is getting so much attention. Anyways, uh, you guys know what to do for more WWE 2K22 updates. Make sure to have those notifications turned on. And if you want even an extra dose of WWE 2K videos, consider checking out the second channel. And let's start off with the latest in regards to the trailer. I feel like I broke it down as much as possible, but you guys keep coming back, letting me know some of the extra things that we ended up missing. And one of those is a major concern already. But to start off, as we got to see in the trailer, it looks like the referees for WWE 2K22 are going to be the same that we got on WWE 2K20. The specific referee that we got to see on the initial trailer is one that has been in the WWE 2K22. 2K series for a couple of years now so with his model making a comeback that means that we're probably gonna be seeing other familiar faces making a return I'm just hoping that they add some extra one to again try to make the game look different which is something that they're trying to go for but aren't necessarily showing it just yet because again this trailer had a lot of the same things that we've seen before taking a look at the audience for example it was pointed out that the audience models express and so on are basically the same even wearing the same clothes that we've seen them wear since wwe 2k18 and you guys know how we are in this community we like to break things down frame by frame which is why i feel like 2k needs to realize that that these small details they really matter sticking with the crowd something we pointed out right away is that obviously they're not finalized and a lot of these models are gonna end up having different shirts hinting at who's in the roster and who is not so far we got to to see someone wearing the Elias 2018 t-shirt and the child in front row wearing the Nia Jax t-shirt. As for the announced team, it seems like we're going to be getting one commentary team this year once again, which is not really a problem, even though we have been asking for two different ones like the good old days, especially because nowadays we do got that brand split going on. Sure, WWE shares a pay-per-view and all that stuff, but for the most part, the brand split is still in intact unless the wild card 3.777 rule comes out and Vince McMahon decides to send Charlotte Flair to Smackdown for a week or two but you know what I mean anyways uh, based on the trailer the commentary team seems to be staying the same we're going to be getting Corey Graves uh, Michael Cole and Byron Saxon adding to that you guys can see that Greg Hamilton is returning to do the ring announcing which is awesome because he did amazing in 2k20 now the biggest concern in regards to that initial your trailer and something that has everyone talking about on social media is the fact that the 619 animation is exactly the same and at first i didn't necessarily saw this as a problem because it is a 619 after all ray mysterio already does it great in the game so you don't really need to change much i also thought that cesaro selling the 619 was a bit different but as we discussed before that is not the case the scariest thing about it is that we had other content creators like it's my yard and smack talks recreating this 619 and recreating the full trailer within highlight reel and they literally made it look 99% the same the recreation of it was so spot on that when compared side by side you could almost say that it doesn't hit different and that's where most of the concern comes from that 2k is hitting us with that it hits a different tagline but that initial reveal is really not showing a lot of that besides the lighting and obviously some of the improved models 99% of whatever else was shown on the trailer is the same from 2k20 so I really hope that whatever reveal comes out next is something that keep things fresh and does demonstrates that 2k22 is going to be different and honestly I feel like we wouldn't be talking about this if there was changes on the smaller things if there was changes on the referee the crowd audience the commentary team and so on 
Those little things of being different would have added to the game feeling different, even if that 619 animation was the same. Because as I mentioned before, I don't care that the animation for the 619 is the same. The problem is that almost everything else also feels the same. Another concern is in regards to the Thunderdome, but we already discussed that on a different video, so definitely check it out. I gave you guys my thoughts on it, on the fact that WWE changed the style of the Thunderdome, the actual set of it post WrestleMania. So go check that out if you haven't just yet and let me know your thoughts on it. And to end this WWE 2K22 roundup, we gotta talk about some fake news, fake news alert, cause I've been getting tagged on this for far too long. Mr. Adam, what have you done? I don't know if it was initially said to be a joke, but please understand that this is 100% fake. Sure, who knows, maybe GN mode will be in WWE 2K22. But I cannot believe that, that this specific tweet with the caption GN mode in 2K22 has been spread all over this week with people even tagging me, telling me to talk about it as if it is news, even though there's no source to it. And again, if you read it, it's obviously fake. The newest addition to the 2K franchise, WWE 2K22, is set to release this summer. It is said to feature over 300 plus superstars. I wish, including male superstar female superstars and legends this year's roster will have over 70 women involved and then adding that wwe 2k22 is also said to be featuring the returning gn mode that will more than likely be a rehashing of the smackdown versus raw series now again guys i don't know where mr adam ended up getting this from but it is a fake are the possibilities there of some of these things to being in it yeah Yes, I think there will be male superstars. I think there will be female superstars in the game. And I think there will be superstars from all of the brands in the WWE. I think that is very fair to say. Also not confirmed, but 99.999% that legends will be in it. So just be careful when you hear reports like this or just posts like this without any type of sources. And in regards to GN mode, we covered this a bunch of time already, but I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. And what I think it is that we need. I feel like Universe Mode should stay. However, as I mentioned multiple times before, they should add multiple of the good features from GN Mode. The first one that obviously comes to mind is the draft and a lot of the things that comes with it. As soon as you boot up Universe Mode, you should be able to have a draft. Draft the superstars that you want to your roster and later on even have the ability to trade against the other brand. The ratings system for each show will be pretty cool currency should be an option but you should also have the ability to turn it off because if you just want to do whatever it is that you want and have the biggest roster ever in universe mode you should be able to still do that some of the daily activities and all of that that's probably better off to be left out of the game and those resources be used on expanding something else like better promos and so on ability of having general managers and just having that competition feature to it once you're against the other if it is what you want so i feel like those are just some of the options that should be there that should be coming over from gn mode being implemented into universe mode to literally make universe mode the best that it could be also give us create a story back please just give me that if you give it to me i will never ask for gn mode features ever again anyways guys that is all the latest in regards to wwe 2k22 as always uh, keeping you up to date and continuing the extra discussion whether it is in regards to some fake leaks fake rumors extra reports and so on if you enjoy or found this informative make sure to 619 that like button and i'll catch you on the next one so stay savage